one meter springboard. Nice and relaxed, just where you need to be, enjoying your diving. Not really that bothered about being in a final, just having fun, letting the dives do the talking. And can she continue to step up? She'd be a surprise medalist, wouldn't she? Back one and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in three, 2.5 degree of difficulty. She's just one tenth of a point behind Julia Vincent of South Africa in the silver medal position. Wow, well, that's a better effort from Bong once again. It does feel like a little bit of a hustle going on here. She was way off the mark in the prelim. That is a marginally short vertical, as you can see. Low on the water. She only scored threes on that, I think, this morning in the prelim. No wonder she's smiling. Well, mm, the judges nice kind of, yeah, there. well, it was really low on the water. And those scores are right. Wish. <laughs> She's having an absolute ball. <laughs> Love it. Michaela Buta in fifth. But fifth, only four points off a bronze medal position. It's tight at the top. Back one and a half somersaults in pike, 2.3 degree of difficulty. Well, it's interesting technique. She seems to snatch the takeoff, throws her shoulders back, bends her knees unnecessarily in the pipe shape, and then stops it dead by coming out early and ends up short. So lots of counter things going on. Somehow got away with sixes. Sixes may not be enough to close the gap on those uh, medal positions. Where another South African, Julia Vincent, found herself after the second round, but it's Nicole Gillis, three of them in this final. Oh, once again, similar to Kimberly Bong, running out of room. Reverse one and a half somersaults, one and a half twist this time. And uh, she was on the corner of the board, so it's going to struggle from there. As you can see clearly, there we are, overhead shot shows you the shambles on the start it equals shambles on the finish. And see ya. shambles on the scoreboard. Thanks for coming. Oh, brutal. But you're right. Accurate though, yeah. Shea Boddington then, the veteran of this one metre springboard final in 10th. Well, she said all she wanted to do was get to the games after making her comeback. I think she'd like to do better than 10th. Forward, two and a half somersaults in Pike, 2.6 degree of difficulty. Yeah, straight up and down. Dreams can come true, it has been said before. Wonderful, inspiring lady for her backstory and solid performance here in the final. Squeeze, 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 and make it round. She does a good job there. Not quite as classy as some of the athletes surrounding her, but she is certainly holding her own. 5.5s across the board, 42.49. And into the jacuzzi. <laughs> Jasmine Lai, the 22-year-old from Malaysia, currently just one off the bottom of the pack. Back one and a half somersaults in pike, 2.3 degree of difficulty. Well, she's left herself a lot of work to do, unfortunately, way down in 11th. The women who make the least amount of mistakes give themselves the best chance of being on the podium. And there are some front runners already appearing, and Jasmine Light is not one of those, sadly. 6.5s and a 7. And 
while Nur Dabita Sabri is four years younger than Jasmine. She's had much more success, including three Commonwealth medals over the course of her career. Same dive for her, back one and a half somersaults with three degree difficulty. A little early on a save there, bending the knees and flattening the feet while the judges could still see that part of her body. Takeoff is good. You see on the replay here, just as she bends her knees, flattens her feet. And that needs to be done under the water for it to be effective. The judges will penalise for that additional bit of breaking form. There is a seven in there, though, for Noor Dabita Sabri. She'll move her up a couple of places. And here's our leader, Grace Reed of Scotland. World Championship silver medalist last year with Tom Daly in the mixed. But out on her own on the one metre and out in front. Inward one and a half somersaults in Pike, 2.4 degree of difficulty to hold on to the lead. Oh, she's done a great job of once again. So backing off ever so slightly on the takeoff, which causes that marginal over rotation, but she does a fabulous job of just disguising it. So instead of landing on her back for five and a half to sixes, she sneaks. Yeah, exactly. You were way over, but you managed to save the dive. Seven, seven and a half, maybe. Seven, seven, and seven and a half. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We could do with better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so too could Cat Torrance. Reverse one and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. 2.6 degree of difficulty for Cat, and she needs this. Yeah, that's good from Cat. Back a little on their hurdle step, so that's to shoot the dive maybe to the side of the board a little bit. She is a safe distance. Let's drift a little bit through upright and then marginally over. There you are, slightly to the side, a little bit of a wiggle on. Let's see Mark Holdsworth with this, the all, the all showing, all knowing grimace oh, as the coaches get caught on the camera. Showing us, what they really to hide. Think. Showing us what they really think before they go back to that poker face. Poker face for Alicia Black. It hasn't been the final she would have wanted. Forward two and a half somersaults, 2.6 degree of difficulty. Yeah, well, she's come back into it now. So she would have been annoyed, frustrated, angry maybe even after a second round mistake. She's got a lot of work to do. And this is a great third round dive. We saw Lois Tolson blow her second round dive last night and still come back for a sneaky bronze. So let's not write Alicia off yet, but she has made it really difficult for herself, but that will help. Yeah, eight and 62.40, that has helped. Well done, Alicia, just when you needed it. Julia Vincent. It's been... Uh, Surprise success over the last couple of rounds and finds herself in a silver medal position. Back one and a half somersaults in Pike, 2.3 degree of difficulty for the wild card. Ah, wild she stays. Obviously immune to any commentator's curse which could have been coming her way. And that is the best I've seen from this young lady. Beautiful entry. This is the upright vertical entry all women are aspiring to in this contest. Zipping in there, hardly any splash. We haven't seen much of it. And we see it here now from Julia Vincent of South Africa. And that is a great dive, enough to take the lead from Scotland's Grace Reed. Oh. We see a South African medal. No one would have seen it coming if they do. No one would have seen do. it coming, and at the moment, it's on. In fact, Georgia Sheehan and Esther Chin were supposed to deliver the medals for Australia. You've seen their form in the prelims. But here
Here's Georgia in fourth. Yeah, it's neat and tidy, but it is an over-rotation. It's highest degree of difficulty at 2.6. He's got a couple of easier dives by way of degree of difficulty to finish. That's quite well, far over. Should really get more than a six and a half. The crowd are pretty excitable. So maybe the judges' hands will slip up half a mark here or there, which oh, yeah. they have. Half a mark or a mark. And that is very handy for Georgia Sheehan. Up into the bronze medal position. Esther Chin needs a good one too if she's to push towards the medals. Back one and a half somersaults in Pike, 2.3 degree of difficulty for Esther. 26 years old. Uh, that's more like it from Esther. I think it's going to make a play because of the low degree of difficulty. It's got some higher degree of difficulty coming, not much. So it's whether the damage has been done, whether she can squeeze up a little bit more. It's very, very tight. That's all I'm going to say. Here's Esther's marks. And then fives for Esther. After round three, of course, two rounds to go. And it's Julia Vincent of South Africa who snatched the lead by just six tenths of a point from Scotland's Grace Reed. Georgia Sheehan of Australia moving up into the medals as we expected. Kat Torrance, though, some good work from her in that third round. 148. So, what's that? Another 11 marks. So, a bit of a gap from the medals down to those contesting lower down. And Alicia Black has moved herself up to oh. that's supposed to represent. They're a very game crowd here, though, aren't they? They do oh, yeah, everything else right, of them. They yeah. surf, they play the bongos, they do kiss cam, they do dancing. And we're all here for a party. There's a nice little area with picnic tables and tents outside where you can sit and have a beer and some chips. Right by the estuary. Lovely. <laughs> Kimberly Bong of Malaysia. Back one and a half somersaults in Pike. Was up in the medal, slipped down to seventh after that third round dive. Well, Kimberly Bong letting it all slip away now, almost back to where she was in the prelims, flip flopping away through. What a shame because she started this final on fire and was up in medal contention in these early rounds. And now, come round four, that's a flop. She's 15 years old, though. That would have been a surprise if she'd found herself on the podium after qualifying in last position. She's pretty much the theme of this diving pool, isn't it? Baby blue water, baby blue poolside. Here baby come blue judges. Bonk scores. Four and a half across the board. Yeah, oh, and the smile that was there has faded. She's still pretty joyful. There Yay. it is. Maybe she can hear us. She can't. Michaela Buta, 22 years old, from South Africa, in eighth. And countrywoman Julia Vincent leading the way here. Oh, oh Michaela starting to lose it now with faltered in the third round and then aggressively taking off and then. Just timing, right at the dive, poorly. Then he go way too early, and then lands very short into the water. Yeah, sucks for her. 3.5s across the board, yeah. Chewing down on that chamois. Yeah, I'm hungry. You can go get you a chamois if you want. <laughs> sure. Thanks very much. Nicole Gillis, forward two and a half somersaults in Pike 2.6. Could be points here. Yeah, not too many though. The judges are looking for a dynamic takeoff, great elevation, fast spin, dropping into the water with no splash, and they didn't see very many of, the, many of those components 
low to the water, shorter vertical, lots of splash. And this is why we're only going to see mediocre marks. And there they are. Yeah, fives across the board for Nicole. So South African hopes resting squarely on the shoulders of Julia Vincent. Now, Shea Boddington with the dive that she took a risk on in the prelims and it paid off then. It's a big one, 3.0 degree of difficulty, reverse two and a half somersaults for the 31 year old New Zealander. Come on, let's see the quality that we saw earlier today. Oh dear. Well, it's high risk and that's what happens sometimes when you put all the chips on the table. Sometimes you lose them all. And that's exactly what's happened there to Shay. She's gone big, and she's having to go home. You can see her breathing and really thinking it through, perhaps overthinking it on the board. She knew it was all or nothing, didn't she? Oh, and nothing it is. Kimberly's still in the jacuzzi. Careful, she'll go uh, wrinkly. wrinkly. <laughs> Jasmine Lai of Malaysia down in 10th place. Reverse one and a half somersaults in Pike. 2.4 degree of difficulty. Pulled it off. Yeah. So conducting the orchestra as she came into the end, flailing her arms everywhere like she was bringing in a plane to land. somehow manages to deal with all of that. So she's way out of balance. That's why all the uh, freaky arm movements going on. Thriller on the end of the board. It could have been a lot worse though. Six in there, a couple of fives. She managed to somehow regain control of her limbs. Nerdabita Sabri with the big one as well. Reverse two and a half somersaults in tuck. 3.0 degree of difficulty for the Malaysian, making her play for a charge at the podium. Oh, and she's done the opposite to Shay. She's gone after it, spinning like a dingbat, and then just not take, taking the correct exit. She's missed her exit and over she blows. She cruises this dive, so there's loads of room and then over to chest on the bottom. What an absolute shame. Oh, good effort though for getting out there and going high risk. Yeah, it's a risky game to play and it has not paid off. We've got one more of those to come in this round and that's for Julia Vincent. So she's going all in, all know. in on round four. Well, it could be the one that wins it her a medal. It could be the one that wins a medal or the alternative. <gasps> oh, I do like diving. Come on, Grace. Grace Reed of Scotland then, currently in the silver medal position, just 2.6 degree of difficulty here. So it needs to be good if she's going to keep the pace, keep the pressure on Vincent, uh, Julia Vincent of South Africa. Forward one and a half somersaults, two twists. Another remarkable dive from Grace Reed. It was, of course, in Delhi in 2010 at the tender age of 14. She is definitely in the hunt for her first Commonwealth medal. This is the step up that we were hoping to see this evening. That's four out of four for Grace Reed. Lovely diving. It's a cool camera angle, isn't it? That one. And the marks on your screen now confirming she's currently oh, in the brilliant. lead. Yes. There's an eight in there, 7.5s that will count. Very useful indeed. That'll really put the pressure on Julia Vincent with that massive 3.0 degree of difficulty to come later. Kat Torrance in fourth position. So a medal still not out of the question for Kat. 2.4 degree of difficulty inward, one and a half somersaults. Oh, that's the best effort from Kat we've seen this evening. That might splashless, vertical, a bit snatchy, so maybe she won't get eight. She could have waited a little bit for the board. 
He does a very tidy job on the finish there. Well done, Cat. Yeah, really well done, Cat. Here come the scores. Brilliant. That's enough to move her up into silver medal position behind Grace Reed of Scotland, who's out in the lead. So Cat Torrance has uh, leapfrogged the two Malaysians into the medal positions. Alicia Blagg could do with some of that magic down in sixth. Oh dear. Well, no magic. All out of magic, I'm afraid. What a shame. She's so much better than this. We've seen in previous competitions. Already a medalist here. Yep. And sadly, that is good night. Yeah, so Home Nation's hopes then rest with Kat Torrance and Grace Reed. Because uh, Alicia is retreating to the jacuzzi. Right, this is the big one then for Julia Vincent. Our current leader with 3.0 degree of difficulty, reversed two and a half somersaults in tuck. And if she lands this, it's surely Commonwealth gold. Oh dear, no. There you go. That's what happens when you go big. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's a botched dive. I don't quite know. She's almost doing like a tuck jump into the end. It is uber funky, isn't it? Her uh, hurdle step approach. She did that in the prelims. It really threw me off. It I did, thought she yeah. was going to come out of the dive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a coach Todd. He knows it. She knows it. And those are the marks. Oh, I really feel for I thought that could have been South Africa's first medal in diving. It These could games. still be. You never know. She's in bronze medal position for now. Really? Yeah, and there's a big gap. Oh my goodness, there is, yeah. The medals and the rest of the but field. Georgia will go up there now, won't she? Let's see. Yeah. And mind you, low degree of difficulty, 2.3. Back one and a half somersaults in pike. Tidy, isn't it? Very neat and tidy indeed. Lady Hitchcliffe there. Aussie coach, Brit, now over in Aussie. And we're going to laugh. That was nicely done, just when it was making a difference, right? So, Georgia up to second. Yeah, she is, with those 7.5s and a 7 in there. That pushes Cat Torrance down into the bronze medal position. So this is Esther's chance to get back into it. She needs a dive of exquisite quality in order to get herself back in. Reverse one and a half somersaults, 2.4 degree of difficulty. Well, it's not quite exquisite, but it is certainly a step up from some of her dives early on that were certainly pretty ordinary by her standards. This is back up there. Too much of an over-rotation for an eight. But it's tight, isn't it? It is tight, yes. Very tight indeed. Esther Chin, yeah, yes. just in fourth though, only four points behind the bronze medal wow. position. Let's that's, look at those standings. That's gettable. Yeah, it? very much gettable. Everyone's gettable. Grace Reed gettable out at the top, just 10 points in front. Georgia Sheehan, 210. She is, what's that, eight points in front of this Catherine is, uh, Torrance. Gold for Grace. Yeah, she just needs to keep her cool now, doesn't she? Yeah, she's got a strong dive. To Amazing food here on the Gold Coast. Right, Kimberly Bong then, as we enter this final round of the women's one meter springboard. 15 year old slipping away from the pace after a blistering start. Ah, Kimberly, come on, you're better than that. We had faith in you. You're oh, already 15, the youngest competitor. It's a really good takeoff. Just doesn't have a clue which way he's upright. Tips over again. What a shame. 
But, but I love that smile. That. Look, yeah. She's chuffed. She Two should be. She should Commonwealth be, finals yeah, she should be her way, first off, games. way off, way uh, off, way up from the uh, bottom of the pack, right? Which is where she qualified. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. <laughs> look at those moves. Michaela Bolter is down in tenth. Reverse one and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. 2.6 degree of difficulty. Oh, it's a good finish. A bit too little, too late for Michaela. Mistakes in the earlier rounds proved costly. She was in 10th after the fourth round. Maybe that will help. That's a 2.6. I'll be finishing on her best dive, which is probably a sensible thing to do, especially when uh, you're looking to make a play. On this occasion, Michaela too far away from the pace to make a play for any kind of medal placing. But then perhaps the pressure's off for your biggest dive, so you could go out and perform it in competition with no pressure on your shoulders, I guess. Yep. Nicole Gillis, 22-year-old from South Africa, finishes with an inward one and a half somersaults, 2.4 degree of difficulty. And she's down in 11th. Yeah, nice steady finish. Quite straightening out as she enters the water. A bit more patient height. And sevens across the board. Some twisty, whirly, whirly ones coming up now. A few in a row. But slightly lower risk when it comes to the difficulty rating. 2.5 degree of difficulty for Shea Boddington to finish after that 3.0 that went uh, badly wrong in the penultimate round. Shame. And she finds herself down in last place. So come on, Shea, the oldest woman in this final, 31 years old. And the only mum, too. Yeah, tidy finish. Damage done in round four for. Shay, many people in from New Zealand to observe, cheer her on. Apart from round four, she's done herself very proud. And her daughter, her three-year-old daughter, the reason she got back into diving after 13 years away to battle with bulimia, make herself healthy again. Good for her. She wanted to show her daughter what she used to do, and then thought, actually, Still quite good at this. Yeah, still so quite sure is. Absolutely. It's a great story. It certainly is. Jasmine Light. Reverse one and a half somersaults, one and a half twists. 2.6 degree of difficulty for Jasmine, who's in ninth. Yeah, nice from Jasmine to finish. I love that. Early mistakes moving costly for her also. So she is too far off the pace to make an impact this late in the game. This is her country woman who's up next. She is a little bit further up though, isn't she? Sabri. Let's have a look. So she, where is Sabri? She's sixth. She's sixth, but quite a way mm. off the pace. So, and a medal here, unlikely. Mm -hmm. Reverse one and a half somersaults, one and a half twists in three. Oh, it's a lovely dive to finish. Just a little bit too, too much to do on her final dive. Which is a shame. She's a pocket rocket, isn't she, this one? Going for that big reverse two and a half dive in the fourth round. Sailing over a vertical as well because she's so strong, so powerful, so agile. Big smiles as well. Team Malaysia having an absolute ball. Probably in the lead, but still a few more athletes to come. Scotland's Grace Reed. Coming up next.
And there she is, Scotland's Grace Reid, the leader. This for a second medal for Scotland at this Commonwealth Games. They haven't won one for 60 years. Could they come away with two? This could be the big G as well. Forward two and a half somersaults in Pike. 2.6 degree of difficulty for Grace. Yeah, that's going to be it. That is good enough for gold. The Scots are on their feet. And I am too. Jenny leaving her coach. She knows it. She had a 10-point buffer. She being Grace Reed. Beautiful dive. Five out of five for Grace. No mistakes. And that's what I said at the beginning. It's going to be consistency which wins the medals. And yes, this is the big G coming to big Grace Reed. Well done, Grace. Kept that game face right way through, but there's the smile finally. Look at her. She's absolutely thrilled with that. World Championship medalist. She's won the European title, the Commonwealth title. Right up there with those major medals. Kat Torrance, though, in bronze. And could this be another medal for Team England this evening? Forward two and a half somersaults in Pike, 2.6 degree of difficulty. Oh! Now, did the judges see that as well, or was it just me? She bent her legs on the way out. I'm sure why, what for. The takeoff is good. She's a little close to the diving board. Do you see? Oh, sh sugar me. Oh, that's she just thrown away a medal. Oh, I can't believe it. No, well, neither can she. Obviously. Oh, no, you're kidding me. What? Oh, she has, look. Fours and four back, but she knows it. She was in bronze oh, medal position. Oh, All she needed to do is keep her legs straight. Just keep her legs straight, easy as that. Uh, no. And this is a nightmare as well. Oh. Alicia in eighth, no medal for Team England. No, it's a good finish, it's two mistakes early on. So Alicia go from leading in the first round to then struggling on the rest of the competition to get back into it. Just... Three divers to go. That's basically given Esther Chin a medal now, without a shadow of a doubt. Georgia Sheehan, she's on for a medal. Julia Vincent, wow. Well, this is going to be an exciting climax. Three divers to go. So here is Julia Vincent, currently in fifth, but just two points behind the medal positions to deliver a first medal at these games for South Africa. Back one and a half somersaults, one and a half twists, 2.5 degree of difficulty for her final throw of the dice. Well, the dice have come in pretty good for her as well. Need to get great elevation in order to make that dive. She works the board really well. Gets into the twist, repikes firmly, gets in the water. She might sneak a few sevens. Whether that will be enough for a medal, that could be an agonizing fourth for Julia Vincent. As we move into the last couple of divers, so I think it's going to be a double Aussie medal here. So Georgia dive well all day. She's up next. She's definitely going to do it. And Esther Chin has been gifted, absolutely gifted, an opportunity. Georgia Sheehan just. 65 points behind Grace Reed in the gold medal position. Yeah, it's good. It's not 65 points good, though. Still, that's going to be a silver for the 18-year-old from Australia, Georgia Sheard. She's dived really consistently well, not quite as consistently well as Grace. So she'll be about 10 points shy of Grace. Finishing 
2.4 degree of difficulty, playing it safe. Silver medalist, there she is. Her second medal of these games then for Georgia Sheehan. Gold in the three meter synchro, silver in the one meter sprint. Nice wall, hey? Not 18. bad. Not bad. What does it take to impress you? Very cynical person. <laughs> Reverse one and a half somersaults, one and a half twist then for Esther Chin to add to her medal haul here. Yeah, and she has indeed. Wow, Esther had to do that the hard way, fighting right from the get go. After a few, few sloppy dives, she finally gets it together and catapults herself into the medals. So it'll be gold for Scotland, silver for Australia, and then bronze for this woman, this woman, Esther Chin. And listen to the roar from the Aussie crowd. Nice. And grace and tears. She can't quite believe she's done it. Esther shaking her head. I don't think she can quite believe she's done it either. Oh, she's had a tough day out there, top qualifier. She'll be disappointed to win bronze. But look at Grace. What a classy performance from Grace Reed. There's James Heatley, who won bronze in the men's one metre. Scotland's first medal at the Commonwealth Games in 60 years. Now, thanks to Grace Reed, they've won two, and it's a gold race. I believe that's the first gold for Scotland since 1954. Peter Heatley. 58 won gold, didn't he? Did, did he? Yep. We need, we need the stats. I don't know what to do with myself. Well, you've got the three meter tomorrow, Grace. How about you back it up with another medal in that? How about that suggestion? So proud of her. She's such an amazing athlete, has such a lovely way about her. She has presence on the diving board. Look at the results. Grace Reed of Scotland, then. Look at that. Head and shoulders above the rest. Georgia Sheehan and Esther Chin, who won the gold in combination in the three meter. Settled for silver and bronze here. Kat Torrance, though. Oh, just those bent legs in that final dive meant she fell out of the medals and into fifth. And Alicia Black, not the final she'd have wanted here on the Gold Coast. She finishes in seventh. But Grace Reed of Scotland is the Commonwealth champion.